Hey everybody, Martin here from Sweet Pea. Today we're going to have a look at how we uh, hoop up stabilizer. So, as it, and it's a very simple process, but so many people get it wrong because there's 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 misconceptions about what you do. So I'm just going to show you actually how how I do this. And all I'm going to do is just use our standard 10 by 6 hoop or 6 by 10 hoop. I'm going to loosen the hoop off. I don't. I want it to be loose. Okay. I don't want it to be tight. And so I'm going to. Put some wash away, sorry, sorry, some normal cutaway stabilizer in. Now, whether you do it this way or this way, it doesn't really matter. Just going to. This is our, our, our cutaway um, stabilizer from the uh, Essentials range. And I want to just make sure that I've got. A margin around the outside edge. I don't want it to be too mean. I am quite mean with stabilizer, but I don't want this to be too mean because I want to have something that I can actually pin around the outside edge. This hoop has a little um, nodule at the top there, which actually sits so it sits in there, so it's a one way. This, the hoop can only go inside the other hoop one way. So I'm just going to place that in the middle, push it down gently. Now this is not tight. Okay, this is not tight. It's just gentle. We don't want you to have to thump this in. Now, it's it's a nice weight. It's a nice weight. It's a it's not what I call drum tight. You don't want it drum tight. Just make sure it's flat. There's no creases in it, and then tighten your hoop. Okay, then you tighten your hoop. Ideally, you should be able to actually just push the inner hoop just slightly towards the back. And that actually gives you a bit of glide on your machine. And lastly, what we do at Sweet Pea is that we actually just put some pins around the edge, just on this this edge here where the inner hoop goes on to the outer hoop. We just pin just one, two, turn the hoop around, three, four. And that just stops the, this stabilizer going back inside our, our hoop when we're actually taking it in and out of the machine to do stuff with our, um, our applique. So the idea is that we don't want to actually stretch our stabilizer into the, into the hoop because when it's stretched in and it's really tight, it looks great, it sounds great, it looks great in the machine, but when you pull the work out, it may actually have little creases around the outside edge of your stitching, or it might have little little um, uh, buckles in the work. So what I'm gonna say is that I'm just gonna do, this is this, I've just taken this out of the hoop, <coughs> excuse me, um, and okay, it's nice and flat. There's, it's not puckered up, okay, it's nice and flat. So it's nice and flat, so it means that it was hooped up. Um, the right amount of um, tension was in the hoop. We don't want great big puckers along the outside edge. We want it to be flat. We don't want any creases or wrinkles coming out of the stitching. It needs to be flat. And if you have it too tight, once you release that tightness, you'll find that you get movement within your embroidery, and we don't want that. Now, there's another way of actually dealing with um, uh, stabilizers as well, is that we can, Add some hoop tape. Now when we say hoop tape this is just a double-sided sticky tape which um, scrapbookers use and we just place it on the back of the hoop and you can also place it around the inside of the hoop. Let's just stick it on. Good for about three or four hoopings until it gets fluffy and then it won't stick anymore. But what it does is it catches the stabilizer and keeps it um, nice and taut so that it's not um, going to slip and slide. Especially when you're dealing with things like um, uh, um, the wash away stabilizers, which do have a sort of a bit of a silky finish on them, um, and there we go, that just pulls off, and so 
outside edge is tacky so it will actually stick to something and that's what we want and the back here as well just get my nail on this there and start it there we go try that again okay so I've caught that with my finger that's cool right so we have some sticky stabilizer on our uh, sorry sticky tape on our around the edge of our hoop let's just get some stabilizer right I'm just going to use um, a piece of wash away now we with our wash away we like to use it double and so I've got some sticky here and here so when I put this on to, to my stabilizer it's going to automatically stick to it see it's going to automatically stick to it and then I'm going to put it into my hoop which I have unwound to make sure it's nice and loose and I'm going to wind this up again to make it tight and if I want to I could actually put some pins around the outside edge of it as well so we want it to be comfortable okay so we want it to be comfortable we don't want it to be tight tight we don't want it to be flapping around the thing about these these um, hoops when they get long they're nice and tight around the top and the bottom the edges and the corners but it's the sides that, that get let down because they actually have become a little bit loose. Some brands of, of um, hoop actually have a piece of rubber along the sides of them and, so, and some don't. Um, it just depends on what your brand of your hoop is. Every hoop is different. Uh, so having some aids to actually help us hoop is def definitely a bonus. So our tape. Um, some of you have with your machines you have little um rubber grids around the outside edge some machines will give you will give you um clips um a whole lot of different versions of clips so some will give you clips but you need to make sure that your hoop is open when you start and it's nice and loose and that you tighten it don't push the inner hoop into the outside hoop I hope you get some success for that.